everyone and welcome to the final match of uh, this group. We are gonna see a match between Life Coach, who just won against Ecop, and uh, Masan, who lost to Maverick, to see who of these that are gonna go through it to day two, uh, day two of uh, Seed Story Cup. With me, I got uh, hyped here. Welcome. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, all good. So. A, a really, a really interesting match here. Uh, like, uh, did you see any of their previous games? Uh, yeah, I was watching Life Coach versus Ecop. It wasn't on the stream; it was just on these far computers, and I was kind of like peeking over. Yeah. And there was a Mech Mage game where Ecop, Ecop was behind. Mm -hmm. He's like forced to play Blinktron. He gets a little Glaive Zuka, and uh, he gives Life Coach a power mace when he has three mechs on board oh. already. It was pretty brutal. Oh God, yeah. And you were watching uh, Masan versus Maverick. Uh, oh, you're casting. Yeah, I actually casted last match. It was a, a re an incredible match, actually. But where, like, it, both players played really well, but Maverick made some like incredible plays. For example, in one of the games, I, I actually said that like, uh, yeah, Maverick's gonna concede in a matter of seconds, and then he turned around and won the game. So oh, what was it? Uh, it was like uh, it was Paladin versus Druid. Maverick was the Druid player, and there was like all this stuff and a Tyrion on board, okay. and uh, Maverick had like some complicated kill on the Tyrion into Harrison into living on like like making Masan be like one or two damage of lethal and then from there turning it around Masan played a zombie shout that helped him out uh, that helped Maverick out a little bit but it was still like managing to come back from that game was like really incredible to see looks like they're they just started I'm gonna hop in here they just started uh, do we have their lineups yet I don't think so I have it right here with the I'm not sure what they banned though for this specific matchup. Okay, but here we see li Life Coach with his Druid against Masan's Warrior. That is, I uh, that is really good for Life Coach, I'd say, to to get this matchup uh, already. Yeah, it's generally what you want. Uh, probably, uh, we don't know exactly how it looked like, but uh, I'd say that like Life Coach predicted Masan to open uh, Warrior. And uh, pick Druid because of that. So it's definitely it's definitely a favorite going in, I'd say. Definitely. Um, oh, yeah, they both have pretty similar lineups. Just okay. So Masan is Druid, Mech Mage, Warrior. Life Coach is Paladin, Mage, Druid, and they both play Mech Mage. Yeah. And their Druids are both similar. So. Okay. Yeah, most Druid decks looks very similar these days, I'd say, with a couple of cards different. But yeah, it's basically the same stuff. Uh, we see uh, we see Life Coach with. Pretty good hand. Like some show is definitely not. The, like did he keep that? Fight. Did we see them all again? I was looking. I, I actually think he kept that. What okay. do you think about that? It's not the worst because it actually, you know, the health doesn't matter because you're knocking off the armor. And we yeah. do see the fiery, but you know, it's not so bad. The fiery is actually not going to kill anything because life coach. Didn't, like if life coach picked up a shredder, then he'd be a little sad because his zombie child gets a uh, fiery, and then his shredder would, which are like the only fiery targets. Exactly. Uh, I actually. Myself, I, I would have probably mulliganed it because you didn't have anything like the Innerate, the Wild Grove, or like even like I'd rather actually in this match I would rather have like an Ancient Lore or something. Yeah. Because it's just so important. So like, even though Zombie Shao is not that bad on turn one, I think there are way more important cards that you should actually search for. Yeah. But, uh, then again, I know that Life Coach is a very experienced Druid player, so I'm not say I'm definitely not saying it's wrong. Uh, Life Coach has a very awkward turn four here with uh, no other playable card but uh, Spite, yeah, uh, yeah. which I doubt he plays here. And Masan actually has a really good play. He can actually think like, he had a handful of uh, weapons, but he actually has the coin for like an actual minion that impacts. It's like really good to get a, to coin out a minion when you're behind. I, I, exactly. Going second. I, especially when you can go like uh, Life Coach did not commit a threat to the board here, and if you can go Belcher into the, like just the Death Spite on the other turn and kill the threat that uh, Life Coach is going to bring to the table, uh, there is uh, like th that's that's really good for the warrior. Then again, there's this trade lay just laying around there and will eventually come out and kill something. So you always have to take that into account. Yeah, and with the double death spite, how many of these do you think we're going to see? Do you think we're going to see Masan get aggressive and go to face with some of those? I, I. Yeah, m like maybe eventually. Like I don't think we will see it early on, uh, but uh, yeah, it, 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 are we still on life coach? Yeah, uh, but uh, eventually <laughs> we might see that because you sound uh, surprise. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot who who we're casting. We actually see him swiping, swiping I'm fine here. With this. Yeah, it, it's, so am I. Like you just don't want him to like run away with the board. 
And um, yeah, with two five drops, two six drops, you, you're not really going to be swiping anytime soon. Whoa, Masan with no second fort, just shield blocks and passes. Yeah. What do you think about this? It's actually okay because he. It's obviously because he has that boom. So he's like, okay, fine. I'll just sledge belt your coin the boom. Mm -hmm. Totally fine. Yeah. Uh, I. He played it so quickly though. Like we see Masan do it, like play really, really fast. Like uh, they are actually each other's opposites. Like while life coach li uh, loves roping, we actually see Masan just doing plays immediately and like very rarely take more than like twenty seconds to finish his turn. Yeah. Um, I hope it doesn't hurt him. No, uh, it, it's, so far he's actually been playing qu quite well. I think, even like uh, considering like the pace of play he does, but I think it. In like these important tournaments, I actually think it's a good thing to just stop and think. Like from from time to time, like of course you can play turns fast, but I agree. Like if you mm. keep doing that, eventually you'll like just one time you'll slip up. I, I, exactly. Like everyone will. It doesn't matter how good you are at it. Uh, so life coach decides to go with uh, with a Drake here. I kind of like it because if uh, uh, and also revealing the shade, which is like a really good play against uh, I guess the death fight, which you kind of expect. Uh, he, uh, Masan decides to get the value out of his uh, fire war axe and actually use the last charge instead of just equipment despite, uh, which means that uh, life coach could actually just go ahead and play the belcher and protect his Drake. Yeah, I totally understand the saving the coin, but if we if he did coin out the belcher, it actually would have been way stronger for him seeing both hands. But oh, I yeah. understand what he's trying to do here. Yes, so do I. Like and. We all know how good Dr. Boom is on tur turn seven, yeah, like he, turn six. Yeah, it's it's incredibly strong. So, do you, would you just go with the Belcher here and be quite happy about your position? Would you consider even trading with the Cruel Taskmaster? No, right? Because shield slams. Mm, sorry, I was looking at. I was trying to. I was going from uh, Masan's position because he's behind. I'm trying to think of how he can win exactly, mm. but I'm not seeing it. Life Coach's hand looks just too good. Yeah, just like uh, quality. It makes a quality in creatures. Combo. Yeah, it is exactly everything I want. It, like there, there are two ways that like warrior uh, can get it, get ahead in this. Like one of them is if Druid got a real slow start with that wild girls in your weights and you just uh, pull ahead on the board early with your armor smiths and uh, belchers, or even if you're pre pre better. Yeah. Like the second way, if they like get, get get like a weak turn at some point in in the curve and. Uh, like basically, warrior has to get a, get ahead at some point, yeah. and uh, also in some very specific scenarios, you can also uh, just outvalue them if you don't draw the combo er early enough. Uh, but uh, as we see from life coach, he just has it. Yeah, he has that makes a value in combo, like with the Sylvanas and the thing. Um, yeah, also just wrath and keeper for like eventual uh, problematic cards. Like say, say one of the cards that could be like a big deal for Masad would be like Sylvanas, for example, but yeah, you just got uh, the, the Keeper for that, so that's really huge. Yeah, Life Coach actually has had no Wild Ghosts or Innervades, so something yeah. like a Doctor Boom in combination with Brawl could be really the thing that Masan could swing this game around with, but the Sylvanas is going to make it super difficult. Indeed. We see the Shield Slam drawn a bit late. Now it doesn't look like it's not impactful at all. Sure, it can kill Slime, but definitely not what you want to do with it. Uh, I expect him to Probably just from down. Uh, yeah, for, for no despite her actually doesn't look that bad. Is despite better than Belcher though? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, yeah. 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 Her Belcher just like it, it just dies like very easily on what's on board. But then again, like you just die <laughs> from, from this. Uh, it's, it's not this turn, but. Right, so it's next good. turn he could potentially do like a oh, brawl. Oh, he, he, he actually just dies this turn wow. because we <laughs> that yeah. top deck inner raid. Oh my god. Yeah, Masan yeah. just, I mean, usually a warrior is like three turns behind a druid, but it felt like Masan was just like one turn away from turning it around there. It's yeah. like a good brawl. I, I, absolutely. Uh, I think I think it would be in, like, you, of course this is for us to say, but that, that coin uh, sludge belcher, if he'd done that in turn four, I actually think that he might have a very good lead in this game. Yeah. But, uh, like, pe people are not working with perfect information as we casters do, so... Yeah, plus you're not, you know, you, you don't feel bad dropping a game to the Warriors, Druid. Oh, no, uh, absolutely not. A very unfavorable matchup for uh, Masan. Uh, so we'll see what comes up next. Uh, Life Coach got Paladin Mage left against uh, all of Masan's li lineup, which is, for as a reminder, Druid, Warrior, and Mage. Yeah, I uh, feel like Life Coach is going to anchor with the Paladin. 
looks like yeah. it's pretty good for certain things. So I'll just try to get the win with the Mech Mage now, especially while Masan's on Druid. And Masan's probably seeing that. And Masan's probably seeing that, so he's probably um, maybe thinking of not sticking to Druid right now. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I really agree Warrior, with you. That is, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I definitely agree with you there. Uh, we're gonna see. They are they are taking some time now before the the next game starts. Probably to like think about. There are there are lots of ways like this could play out. Uh, so uh, as Masa uh, or as life coach, what deck are you like most afraid that uh, Masan steals a win with? Like to mm, probably. Yeah, he really wants. So Masan pretty much needs his warrior to get a win off the mate. Actually. Hmm. I would yeah. say that, but Warrior versus Paladin is not as bad as it used to be. Whereas no. Druid versus Mage is pretty bad. Yeah. Um, uh, Thor, uh, Emperor Thorson helped a little bit, but it's a pretty bad matchup. So Masan's main goal is to dodge, is to get a win off the Paladin with the Druid, which also isn't that great. Mm -hmm. No, no, it, 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 not, not at all. We actually saw him lo lose that matchup in the previous series against Maverick too. So. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, Masan... I think he has to go Druid still. He has to get a win. He needs as many chances as he can with his Druid against both his decks. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Uh, and we'll see if like Live Coach uh, manages to predict this. He predicted that uh, Masan would open with his Warrior uh, and, and choose the Druid. Like Whereas if Masan like, chose the Mage, he would be in really bad shape. But we see... Okay, yeah. So Masan's sticking with the Druid. And uh, yeah, he, he, he needs to get a win of this. Uh, Kazan Mystic is a really... Oh. Interesting card. Yeah, actually, so it wouldn't have been too bad if he hit the mage with the uh, druid. Oh, right. Yeah, that it's makes it a lot better. Then, uh, then this pick uh, all of a sudden makes like a lot of sense. But we see... Uh, Double this. knife juggler. Yeah, the the hand from life coach is really good, but I'm not all that impressed by... Oh, that certainly made it better. Yeah. A lot better. <laughs> it's st still a wild gross, but it, that doesn't really look... Isn't that needed with this hand? Yeah, he's got a five and a four drop if he wants it. Yeah. Uh, so it all becomes like a matter of how you sequence things. That wild growth actually. Oh, he just doesn't think about this. I was, yeah, I was thinking about play. taunt and charge. I was trying to think between taunt and charge. He just goes with the wild growth. Yeah, it it makes sense. Your opponent doesn't put a lot of pressure on you with that uh, accolade pain, so maybe he thinks that he has time to just sa save those coins in inner rate because he has the scenarios in hand. Yeah, and just uh, go ahead and use the wild growth now here because the, the longer you keep it, the more awkward it gets to play. So I kind of like that play thing here about it. Um, a oh, really important pick up here. Swipe is uh, swipe, not crazy uh, about any of Masan's plays. Sorry, I'm not crazy about any of his plays here. Which one do you like? Um, the one I like the most. I okay. Actually, I like this a lot because it is. Very easy to fall behind against a paladin. Oh yeah. So I don't mind, you know, kind of a weak Sylvanas. I, 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 I was thinking about swipe or Sylvanas. You kind of, I, I, I think you're pretty sure that your opponent doesn't have Master of Battle at this point. Mm. Uh, but yeah, one of those are like Master of Battle would uh, a swipe would be a clear if you use the coin too. But uh, I can like uh, Sylvanas followed by swipe. Yeah. Uh, a, a, a bit more. Uh, and also, what's uh, really hurting Life Coach here is how he can't uh, play Owl and True Silver in the same turn here. Uh, that would be like an amazing play against your opponent Sylvanas, but uh, he's one of them now off. He does have, have the option to completely flood with the, um, all the three cards on the left there. Oh, yeah. Uh, it does leave you somewhat weak to swipe. Though. Yeah, looks like he's going to look for some knives first, see what hits. Yeah. Yeah, mini bot's pretty. It's not. It's never like weak to any AOE, pretty much. So exactly. You're safe. And then the zombie chow. He's like, if I don't play it now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I I, I, I kind of like this line. Uh, also, like one of those things where you plan to uh, one turn ahead, where you have the true silver next turn, to be more high impact when you actually got a somewhat of a strong board. Yeah. I wonder how likely it is that he thinks Masan has the swipe because you said you would have went for that swipe and it would oh. maybe coin hero power. So we'll see if he's surprised here by this swipe. Yeah, if, actually, if you're gonna swipe to Shao, you better you better attack the Acolyte first. And this actually, yeah, um, if Lycoach wants, excuse me, uh, if Lycoach wants to, he can just trade the Mina button or he could and uh, play the Sylvanas, which is what I like the most. Uh, but he can also use True Silver if he wants to. I want to see Lycoach's reaction to this swipe. Uh... 
Okay. Not, not, not much of a delay, so it's a little <laughs> confusing for our viewers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so so the, uh, he actually picked up the second true seller, which would make me a bit more inclined to uh, to play the play the true seller and just hero power. But then again, like be just uh, playing Sylvanas here is not bad at all. Life coach had the super awkward kind of offensive uh, Sylvanas. I think he run, does he run Sky Golems in this deck probably, and that's like the time when you want the Sky Golem. Yeah. But he just plays the Sylvanas, and it's actually really good here. Um, it doesn't get punished at all. Uh, Asan just throws the, uh, the scenarios right at it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I kind of like the Masan's position here. I think I, I don't think this looks that bad for him. Uh, like a life coach is really running out of action, and uh, Masan got like one card from the Wrath, and he got a Druid, and like Kesson missing is not even that bad here. It, like at, at worst, it will just take a true silver charge. Yeah, so... I think our spectator mode have bugged out. Oh, oh what? It looks fine. Uh, he just played a Wrath. Oh, <laughs> that's what we didn't see happen. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry about this. We'll be right back in a second. So he gave him the the one two scenarios, the the goldshire scenarios. Not uh, not the biggest threat, especially not with also picking up the Belcher from the Wrath. Double equality. Uh, so you know, Life Coach's deck has a lot of value. He just needs yeah. to draw one good thing. That, that that's how he likes to play Life Coach. We see him with all his like nourishing druid, and uh, he's probably played more pilot sky golems than most people in tournaments. And uh, it, it's just really his place. I like his his favorite deck is Handlock. Uh, although here he decides to just uh, be really aggressive, which I which is actually a player I really like because he doesn't have much to work with. So he gotta he gotta do, do what he can from the cards uh, he, he's, he's given, and uh, actually being aggressive with the true silvers, which is basically the only thing he got at this point. You know, plus, I mean, one of the ways to win, he really wants like a land hands top deck or just something really oh, yeah. expensive. So he wants the Juice Silver on. Absolutely. Sheila Nina is, yeah. is among the worst draws. A great yeah. card, but uh, absolutely not what he want to draw on turn nine. Yeah, I think I feel like he only plays one zombie challenge. He already played it, so that is basically the cheapest card in his deck left. And what we spoke about just right before the match, how how Masan really needed a win out of this Druid in the series to like, have a Shams seems like it will be happening. Yeah. Well, with the Mystic, it, though, it's not too unlikely against the Mech Mage. Oh, no, no, no. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, at that point, we didn't know about the Kesson Mystic, but that is certainly a nice addition. Um, so, hmm. What does Life Gun uh, he, he Like, Leon Hands would definitely be the best top deck he could have, but other than that, I don't know his bombs. Like, I don't. Does he have like a Kel'Thuzad or a Rag or anything? Probably not. I ha, ha, haven't seen it myself. Uh, kind of sad I don't have lists available, but understandably since we're role playing in the tournament. Yeah, I think if if he runs one Sky Golem, he runs two. I want to say he does run two Sky Golem though. Yeah, I I, I I would I would think so too. Yeah, uh, sort of. Should. Yeah. U using the one of the equals here is totally fine since you have the second one. Like I, I have a hard time seeing how you would uh, get good value out of both otherwise. So yeah. I like it just, basically just killing uh, Druid or Claw, which is not really what you what you want with your equality, but uh, since you have two, you can easily just throw one out there. And we're going down. Not doing that much though, but anytime you hit the Force of Nature with it, it makes Druid's or Paladin's life a lot harder. Yeah, at, at this point it's like, a 5-5 five five <laughs> is just very, very strong. Mm. Alright, Life Coach gets something good. Also, don't bug out on me, Spectator Clan. Do I need to rejoin again? Please. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it bugged out again. Sorry. Nothing we can do about that. Just had to rejoin again. Um, Jumping back in. Oh, I can see oh, a, a yeah, ball over yeah, my shoulder that it was a Tyrion. Hot. Yeah, that is definitely one of the higher impact cards uh, that you could have drawn. And uh, we see 
Oh, whoa. Uh, Massad immediately top decks the Keeper to grow to silence Tyrion. Still a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, yeah, exactly. Awesome. A 6-6 six, six here is uh, incredibly good anyway. Uh, also, the hero power here to make the Recruit and True Silver Champion not be able to take out the... Uh, take out the Belcher right away. I Although, could... uh, I guess you can just uh, attack anyway. Uh, both wipes are used at this point, or did we just see one? Ooh. Was that one just now? No, 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 but oh, yeah, like, did, just... did, did he use both swipes or no, not? No, I believe it's just one oh, on okay, that one turn. One. Yeah, but you, you still just play monster here because yeah. your opponents are so low on cards. Plus, you, you have, you're you going to be hero power every turn. You want some of them to stick, as, as opposed to each one you do getting hero power each turn. Exactly. This way, second swipe here would be very good, though. But he doesn't get it. He gets the shade instead. Um, and now I would say that uh, life coach is a very dominant position, especially since Masan uh, just decides to uh, decides to go with uh, force of nature here. And the shade, though, basically invincible unless the consecrate is picked up right here. No more knife jugglers. They can just grow and grow and grow. And so basically, they're in a value battle. Whoever top decks more value. But with the shade growing each turn, it really puts a block on life coach. Yeah, uh, we see how uh, life life coach has drawn a lot of low impact cards though. While Masan has already used his uh, scenarios and uh, Sylvanas, both players have used Sylvanas actually. But uh, seeing how life coach uh, used to build his decks, I'd say that he has a lot of good top decks here. Yeah. Then again, he's playing against Druid, which has access to two ancient lores, and one of those That's in this true. spot would just be game over basically. The Doctor Boom would be handled by the big game hunter, but still bad. Wow. Okay, 14 cards each. He's taking his time, even though there are not very many decisions to be made. Uh, he could he could say the big game hunter here, but then again, he got the equality to uh, take care of uh, big minions, and that is why he's even, deci uh, even deciding between playing the big game hunter or not. It's not great on the board because uh, the keeper handles it quite well. If you kind of want something bigger to uh, take care of the keeper, so you don't like trade, like it did not only silence the tyrant, which is huge, but also like traded for a card. Not really what you want. Plus, if you're a life coach, you're known for roping every turn, and if all of a sudden you're just instantly passing, you're like, okay, wait, wait, so your hand <laughs> is useless. Exactly. Okay, but he actually was thinking it wasn't a, that wasn't a bluff. He decides uh. to play it eventually. Let's see if we can pick up that ancient lore. <laughs> That's off. That's off. Right after the big game, that that close call of playing the big game hunter or not, uh, life coach is. Yeah, but he's still basically in an awful position, even if he hit the big game hunter. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, maybe not. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah, not necessarily a wrong play, but it's certainly. It certainly feels really bad yeah. when, when that happens. Uh, he does have the equality. So... Equality, you still have so much stuff on the board you have to take care of. Also, at this point, uh, like as life coach, I would probably expect the card that has been in Masan's hand since the starting hand to be one of the combo pieces. He used one force of nature, but uh, like it... it I would assume it is like a dead card because uh, he haven't used it and it's been in his starting hand if you kept track of that. Yeah, it should come down here. He's got to play one of those. That yeah. was very interesting. Like, Coach, uh, really valuing that just that one HP big game hunter instead of, you know, throwing the big game hunter into the 7-7 seven, seven and axing the 2-1, he just keeps it alive. He needs that, just that 1-1, one, one, basically. Yeah, he, he, he realized uh, how much of a value battle this is. And it actually really worked out perfectly. He dodged he dodged both the bombs, right? Or oh, yeah. The first one didn't do much. The second one hit face. Yeah, it, it, it really worked out for him. Uh, I really like how he's playing this, uh, realizing... Uh, Realizing what the game is about uh, at this moment. Oh, perfect. Yeah, Belfry is really good here. The like it is gonna be taken out by the shade, but uh, like if it didn't draw it, the shade, yeah, the shade just continue just... to grow and grow and grow. Okay. Um. So can he keep the shade totally healthy? Yeah, he can. He can keep it at three HP. Pretty good. <laughs> Basically, Masan really relying to uh, relying on his shade here. Um, 
you, you probably... Oh, you can't play the big game hunter because you would have to play your shade. Uh, kill your shade. Oh, there God. There it is. Okay. There okay. is the lay on hand. We still have a game. Um, can't afford any Aldor, and I doubt he plays two Owl, though. Yeah. yeah so there's the second Aldor. That's actually good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he'll buy. Oh, if he just picks up the second Master now, that's that would be amazing. Mm. Oh. If we see this charge face, then we get the the, the hidden heal bot value of like baiting your opponents into being too aggressive. Oh, seeing the charge. Probably just taunt. Probably, yeah. Okay. Oh, he does. This is like yeah, a little bit more heal bot value, I think. I have to do the math. Um. So you heal bot, you definitely alder. What then? Like you just have two mana left, so. <laughs> it's getting close, okay. So he does 14 damage next turn if you don't Aldor. Oh. You, you, you kind of have to, like. Uh, so, yeah, there's not much to do but uh, heal both Aldor and hero power. And, uh, yeah, it's not a good, great position for Lifegood to be in, even though he drew the lay on hands. Uh, that, I actually think that. Uh, a shard to Druid Cloud really, really spinning off for a Mas uh, uh, Masan right now. Okay, the heal bot's definitely going to get a kill on something with the Consecration next turn. And the Aldor as well. As long as he can kill the third thing, or whatever, you know, Masan top decks. Yeah. Must move quickly. See the it's rope again for the ton of time this match. Wow, if it's something that gets consecrated down. Okay. Yes. Oh, he decides to go with consecrate. Okay. He takes six damage from this, though. Uh, Life Coach probably think he needs to Aldo whatever comes out next. There's a lethal uh, savage for. So he's he 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 just a little bit safer. Safer, yeah. I I, I don't like I Life Coach. Out, but yeah, we, yeah li li Life Coach uh, did. Uh, yeah, took a bunch of lines that, uh, like, he, he got really punished from how he played it, but I still think they it was the right thing to do, uh, seeing how the game played out. Yeah. So, like, it might look like he's just uh, getting, like, that is, like, his lines were bad, like, if, if you don't pay a lot of attention to the game, but uh, the, the plan was, like, the, the plan I had in mind was definitely a, a solid thought. Yeah, and, just uh, a big game hunter. I mean, he, you know it's a big risk whenever you do that. Yeah. Uh, you, you, yeah, right the top. like with the quality, I would probably just go for yeah. for the exact same line. So uh, we see Ma uh, Masan getting the important uh, win uh, with with the Druid, uh, and that means we have Warrior and Mage facing uh, Paladin and Mage. So uh, how how do, how do you feel about this? Actually, I think Mage was is slightly favored against uh, Warrior. Mm? Just slightly favored, I and agree. then Paladin is a little bit more favored. So, uh, and then Mage versus Mage. Actually, you know, if uh, Life Coach's Sky Golem is probably hurting him a little bit in the Mage Mirror. Uh, absolutely. Although, uh, Masan could easily be running that as well. Or, I, I don't necessarily, like, the, the Mage, 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 Mech Mage Mirror usually plays out, like, in uh, from experience, like, that both players trade off everything, like, really early. And the one that, like, basically, like, the board is just trading all yeah. the time. And uh, then, like, whoever drops, like, a 7-drop, like, boom, or as Unite is first, okay. it basically wins. So, I don't know. Like, it, of, of course, like, the Sky Golem can hurt you and being able, y you'll be able to uh, fall behind uh, very, very easily in the very easy in the early game. But if, if you actually manage to pull it off with, uh, with uh, tr turning off minions as you should, I actually think the Sky Golem might be a really, really big thing for him if it, if it does run it. Okay. Well, now that I think about it more, it probably is better than the Azure Drake, which a lot oh. of people do run. So Sky Golem better than Azure Drake. Uh, I'm gonna say blink. Oh, they're gonna. Mm. Players are taking a short break, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, life coach uh, just went out the door, going to do something. So. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, but then again, uh, so if uh, for who. For which player do you think it's like riskier to pick mage? Like, uh, oh, okay, interesting. Um, so life coach can. I, f oh, I don't want to say too much. Oh, all right, yeah. The, the, the players out. can kind of hear us right now, so it's kind kind of awkward to discuss strategy, yeah. you know. Um, 
let's talk about something else. Oh, okay. so like we're both in this tournament so far. Uh, how do you feel about the players that have still uh, qualified, and how, what are your thoughts about tomorrow? Oh, well, I think I'm afraid of Zixo because I was playing against Zele with that Shaman deck, and I've, it's very strong against Druid. I'm very, I do not want to play against those Fell Reavers again because I struggled immensely, and every, every Druid I've seen uh, play against that Shaman has struggled immensely. So I just, I would like to dodge Zixo. Yeah. Um, I think that's like my only. It yeah, only player, like really, yeah, uh, yeah. From 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 a deck perspective, I mean, I'm not really sure what player. Like, uh, I I have to admit, I've slacked off on doing the research on all the players. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, like, there have been some players today that has been like really been really really impressive, and that I really don't want to face tomorrow. Like one of them being Maverick. Yeah, I actually Same. I miss Maverick's game. So if I'm paired against my, we'll have to watch this game because like, you and oh, yeah. a few other people have told me that Maverick was playing perfectly. Yeah, uh, there's there's been a lot of talk. Uh, going on in the in the like pl playroom uh, about Maverick and how good he played uh, his matches so far, um, but yeah, there are several several people that I really don't want to play against. But then again, I'm feeling quite confident. I I managed to pull through yesterday with uh, high fever and such, and feeling much better. So hopefully it goes well. But it seems like the players are. Uh, uh, you're up to the next game. I can already see that it's Paladin against Mage. So, what do you think about this matchup? It didn't. It wasn't the, the mirror that we expected. So, what do you think? Um, I think Life Coach only has the one zombie chow. Might hurt him a little bit, but um, mm -hmm. we already see the muster, which is great. That's one of the ways you win. Um, he doesn't play mind control tech. That's a big one. But um, if he just picks up uh, some mini bots here, then he's already good to go. But actually, if we look at uh, this Fasan's hand, hand. <laughs> okay, but he's got the equality muster, so he can clear a lot. Oh, oh yeah, uh, absolutely. As uh, long as there's no blast mages found before for the muster. Uh, if so, that that just be brutal. Uh, we'll see. Uh, uh, the the cog monster has to trade into the some show, which is definitely not what you want, but yeah. it's necessary. Respecting oh. the coin muster, basically. Well, here we see the Kesson mistake uh, from life code. It's huge because Masan just threw the scientist. Yeah. Um, and also, like, so it, that like even though Masan has a double uh, Mech Warper draw, uh, I actually don't hate Life Coach position at all. Yeah, his hand's a little clogged, so he goes, he breaks up the three drops rather than the four drops, which makes sense because you don't even know, you, you don't know you're gonna play the Kazan right here. It, it, exactly, I, I think it's fine to wait for Kazan for one turn. Okay. If I didn't pick up the three drop, that would have been insane. Yeah, uh, like another spider tank. Like, let, let's say just a snow, snow chugger would have been really good. Yeah. But as for now, his turn is actually quite... Like, it looks good, but oh. li Life Coach doesn't have that much of trouble to dealing yeah. with all this stuff. I like, think Life Coach is one with this equality. Just full clears. Yeah. Uh, you, your opponent just two cards left in hand. And you know your opponent doesn't have a th any mech under four. He would have played Shredder right here if he had it. Ah. But so there's nothing, there's no four drop. Yeah, I, I think Life Coach is going to take his time before uh, playing the equality, but it's, yeah, it's, uh, it, 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 it's the right thing to do here. And he should be able to figure it out uh, from what Masan played, or rather not played, yeah. on his turn. Let me think. Unless... Okay, unless he's playing on mind control tech, then. But yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty clear. So he hits it instantly, and uh, yeah. How does so? How does um? Have you seen like a a mage recover from this? What does it involve? Hmm. Shredder RNG probably. Yeah, uh, I'd say so. Oh. It's definitely not like, uh, trying a mirror entity on that turn. That's, that is, that's arguably awful. the worst draw in your entire deck. Yeah. Not point. only does he have the Kazan Mystic to steal the first one, he can. <laughs> Uh, get the second one with Aldor. Oh, yeah. But yeah, as for now, we'll see a pilot shredder in play. Life coach probably just, uh, became really happy when they saw that mad scientist uh, coming into play. Um, yeah, Snow Shugger. Not really what you wanted. You want to draw something along the line, so I don't like it. Lofa wouldn't even be great. You. you your Dr. Boom has to pull a lot of weight yeah. uh, here. And also Aldor you have to draw... Uh, exactly. You have to draw a minion next turn so you can proc the mirror entity because you can't play Boom into that. I feel like some blast mages are going to be necessary. Something that like immediately impacts the board. Sky Golem, I guess, would be okay for Masan here, but we're really struggling. 
Yeah. I just learned that uh, if they do steal your secret and you missed it, you didn't mouse over in time, you can just mouse over it on the other side. <laughs> yes, that, that, that's how it works. Um, Shredder, not the best minion to proc the, proc the mirror into the width, but... Okay, it, he just feels like fun. he's so far ahead he can afford it. Or he just wants it on the board. Yeah, he, he, he definitely just well, wants to be able to play Dr. Boom the, next turn, the following turn. Okay, so mm. you keep the Kezen healthy probably and just run the Shredder into the second half in case it's strong. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 it's oh, I, yeah, no, that's oh, what right, right. Exactly. exactly. This is correct because what drops from Shredder is uh, on average going to have more than one power. So that way you, your Shredder becomes more damaged. Right. Dr. Boom. No. Like, the board is a pretty good answer, but at least there's no BJH. Yeah. But seeing from this, I don't really see how Life Coach could possibly lose. But uh, yeah, as, as you said, like, is there, is there any, is there any way he could come back? Uh, Not after seeing that. It was basically the Shredders. So you, he, he gave him the Shredder, and he needed to, you know, get the the, the Stucky Bits or the Millhouse and have Life Coach brick on his with an egg or something. But the opposite happened. <laughs> yeah, he got a pretty bad one. And yeah, Life Coach getting one of the absolute best ones. There's no way to bomb. So you'd have to bomb both recruits or recruit and the Kezen and then ping the finish off the Succubus. So best case scenario, he has a 3-3 and a quarter master. Oh, good. And it did. Okay. Bad boom butts as well. So we got low fib secret. You, you still got to play even though it's pretty much... Sorry about that. Yeah. Oh. Second equality picked up. <laughs> is that here is actually quite... <laughs> it's like really bad against Lofa, but it's it's the last threat. Um, saw all those golden yellow cards. So um, we actually haven't seen uh, any any sky volumes from Life Coach yet in these two games. Maybe he decided to. Uh, we didn't see uh, Nourish or anything in the Druid deck as well. Maybe it's like has a new read on the meta or something, and like decided to cut those kind of cards. Yeah, I actually do remember now. I, I do know something about uh, Masan's Mech Mage, so we'll probably see it next game. It's the um, he's running. It's him that's running Power Blast, I believe. Oh yes, yes. we we saw that against Maverick too. Maverick was like totally in the clear, playing a he had uh, Masan had already used two Frost Bolts and uh, a Fireball, and Maverick was at like nine life and felt like really safe. Had him dead next turn and he just got Power Blasted. Okay. It was uh, quite entertaining to see. Okay, because I saw it. Um, mm. He was playing against. Ecop was it? Oh yeah. And it didn't work out. The powers oh, yeah. hurt him, or it just wasn't enough to win. The yeah, game. I, I, I'm not a big fan of that because uh, uh, just another threat will usually like in in that game, for example, that I, I saw him win with the pyro blast. Just another like mech of some sort would have yeah. uh, also won him the game. And it's probably gonna hurt him in the mirror. Definitely, I'd rather have the sky gold oh, than the pyro blast. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like uh, having that kind of reach is not uh, that important in a lot in a lot of matchups. To say, it's it's a bit like. I really didn't know why, why you would play Pyroblast. I understand it a little bit, because there are times when you want just one Fireball off Antonidas, but you don't have the spare part. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, I'd rather just have a Pyroblast here. But it doesn't come up that often. And 10 mana is a lot. It, it, it is. It definitely is. Rest in peace, 8 mana Pyroblast. Yeah. Wasn't quite some time ago. Probably a oh. good thing for the game. Good, yeah. They hated that. Uh, so... We're into the second game. We Life Coach just needs to get a win with Mech Mage, and Masan needs to win both Mario, Warrior and Mech Mage. Uh, we start off with a Mech Mage Mirror, which kind of tells me that uh, Masan is uh, not very comfortable in how his uh, Mech Mage plays out against the, uh, or how how his Warrior plays out against Life Coach Mech Mage. I would yeah, say. I think it, you know Masan plays very fast, and it's almost like. It's like he's saying, like, oh, I have, like, the mental stamina. I can, I can keep up. I can play fast. I can, and uh, for me, the Mech Mage versus this mirror would be a little bit more uh, hard mentally than mm -hmm. just Warrior versus Mech Mage, which is pretty straightforward. Oh, yeah. So Masan saying, I want to go against uh, Life Coach immediately with the hard matchup. Oh, okay. Pretty confident, I would say. Yeah. Um, this Speaking of confidence, it's not working out. Yeah, this Pyroblast is looking really, really awkward. And... The rest of his hand is not very good. Lofib is... If he falls behind uh, early, Lofib is not going to do anything. And meanwhile, we see Life Coach with quite a great hand. Oh, that hand is amazing. Oh, uh, it, it, just got better. it got better. 
It's a Noe chance mm. not gonna. It's not protecting anything. It's low value, not what you want here. Yeah, he actually kept that, and uh, I don't. I'm not sure. It, the rest of his hand was really, really bad. I. Okay, I don't really remember how the mulligans went, but uh, I'm usually not being inclined to keep a Noitron. Just search for like scientists, snow sugars, make warpers. Yeah. Because yeah, in this mirror match, my Noitron rarely does anything. You just want bodies. Yeah, you're just gonna fall behind in tempo with the Noitron. And look, there's the Sky Golem. Okay. Just as just as expected. Um. Yeah, so as life coach here, would you uh, attack and uh, ping, or would you and uh, play a Snow Sugar, or would you uh, just play Snow Sugar and Oitron and go face? Shredder is really strong, actually. Oh, but, yeah, right, um, oh right, Shredder. But uh, maybe you're worried about Blast totally Mage. Missed that. You can yeah. try to dodge Blast Mage. How would be the best? Maybe it is just playing Shredder. That's the best way to dodge Blast Mage. Yeah, uh, I, I'd say so. Uh, I told totally, I just blanked out on the Shredder in the hand. That is definitely the right play. Yeah, plus I, the, the double two drop was... Um, you know, tempting, but you know, you want to smooth out your curve with the cheap stuff later. With with the like now, how uh, life has played it to play around plus mage actually an Oitron be becomes a lot better. But then again, it's just a ping away from dying. Yeah, is he gonna ping now? Uh, I don't think so. You could just advance your board even further and uh, really assert dominance on the board. Okay, he knows he's gonna have to deal with a entity at some point. Do you think he's saving any of that or is this... Okay, I like this. Yeah, let's see. What's the best spare part? Let's part the reversing uh, switch. Not doing that much. It's somewhat good on the Shredder, I guess, but not great. Yeah. Probably not going to be used for now. I think if I was life coach, uh, I'd really want to get that Sky Golem down, but I, you just know it's not going to happen with that Mad Scientist. Maybe there's some way that he could not give a scientist a good trade this turn, but I feel like Masan is going to suicide the scientist no matter what. Yeah, I think so. Even though, even if, uh, like, you don't necessarily have to play it on turn six, even though that's when it's the strongest, but you can just have, one, like, another turn of, like, playing a bunch of small minions and then follow it up with Sky Golem, and I don't think it hurts you all that much. Okay, he goes for the ping. Um, I think it does have something to do with the HP value. So now the scientist gets a bad trade, he thinks, um, of course, or he's hoping <laughs> the scientist would get a bad trade, but he gets a good one. Uh, he had the Frostbolt to supplement it anyways. Oh, yeah. Um, and now si Life Coach is going to have a strong turn. He's going to have like a, a cheap two drop to throw into it and this, the Shredder. So it's not going to be too bad. Lassan actually does a pretty good recovery. Lassan looks super behind and now it's looking kind of even. Oh, yeah. Like uh, that Tinker Trout Ignition is matching up. Uh, really really bad against the pilot shredder and also like the mirror entity there to make him uh, to, to force life coach to play a really small minion yeah i think he's gonna go with the snow chugger so we can get a kind of value trade and get the shredder down yeah plus the freeze effect on life coach's effect is on side is actually gonna be pretty valuable too it's having the snow chugger uh, there, there's this thing that like life coach is working with way more cards than uh, Masan does. Like yeah. the, e effectively, like bo both Pyroblast and Clockwork Gnome are like Clockwork Gnome is basically a spare part at this point, and uh, Pyroblast is not gonna do any uh, like gonna do anything anytime soon uh, because I don't see life coach uh, life total going that low. Uh, okay, going. Okay. Yeah, it decides to give Masan an uh and then follow it up with a Shredder. Uh, it, it, I, I kind of like this. Uh, like, the Noid... Yeah, I, I actually... Actually, what this is going to do is going to put the Shredder at 4-2, and you can reverse it and get a value trade on the Shredder. Oh, pretty yeah, good. Good, good. Good call there. And Oh, not, maybe not anymore with this Anoitron, though. Oh, no, he can still get through. Okay. Yeah. And Life Coach, I mean, his hand is so good, he's probably just thinking, how do I not lose this game? <laughs> True. How do I get uh, this oh, guy going Actually, down one thing you have to, like, really take into consideration is that, like, there are, once again, like, two cards that haven't been played in quite a while. Like, you have to uh, take into consideration that one of them might be Dr. Boom. Yeah. And that might for a big... Yeah, and that's why I'll also absolutely use the Mirror Entity here, just so that can't happen. You really have to think like uh, yeah, a, a turn uh, in advance and see like what is the worst could possibly happen to me here and wh how, how do I play around it and I really think that Life Coach is doing a good job of that. Okay, he still gets the value trade on the Snow Chugger if he wants. Oh, just, okay, just pressuring. With the Entity oh. makes sense. Second Scientist of the both your Mirror Entity are Ooh. gone. 
Oh, wait. It, it, oh, wait. Yeah, Life Coach has two left, so it wouldn't even be like a good yeah. give. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, it's way better than giving him a low foot, but yeah, it's such an awkward draw and not the uh, like, cards you need at this point. Ba basically, think that, like, like I, I, I just can't uh, stop thinking about it. Like, if that Pyro Blast had just been another random mech. Yeah. Like, it might have been. Yeah, like, a Yeti, Yeti is pretty good in the mirror. Right? Yeah. yeah it, it, Lipsis is so good at trading down, which is mostly what it's supposed to do. Like, well, Patrick Shredder is really good at trading up. Yeah, this is re really good at trading down, which is way more important in this matchup. I guess you're not too worried about Entity when you don't have any creatures. Nah. But he needs to get 16 damages somehow. <laughs> yeah. And Life Coach has a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, with that guy gold, that is a hard deal with. I think he just... You, you could still just value trade. I don't, I don't... He could freeze the load up. You could do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, but it freezes if it tries to trade anyways. Yes, push random buttons and yeah. <laughs> eventually double fireball him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying how Masan wins. There's no way. Uh, no, there's just no way. Even if it draws like that. Yeah, like there's also a mirror entity up. There's just so much. Yeah. So. Yeah. There's gonna be a. Uh, 3 1 to life coach, it looks like. Technically, yeah, he has enough damage. If there's, hey, like, is, is there's there, an ice block in the deck. Is there something terrible that could drop out of this? No, something Sky is the worst, but there's nothing negative. Yeah. That's actually pretty good. Oh, yeah. But those fireballs now do. Do 7 at peace, or what? That's not need to, he's an, He needs a sneaky ice block off this uh, scientist. <laughs> Just pulls an ice block out of nowhere. <laughs> It didn't happen, and Life Coach is gonna finish this game yeah. off with two fireballs. Um, quite the series. Uh, it. I I think that both players played it pretty good. Yeah, both, uh, they both played very I, well, but Nissan couldn't do much there. I, I, I think it actually was decided in like from the first turn in the entire game where Life Coach got the matchup of Warrior versus uh, like yeah. Masan's Warrior that versus his Druid. I think that's actually decided the entire series eventually. Yeah, Masan um, had less freedom to go. It, with his, it, he had really it, bad picks from then it, on out. Exactly. Uh, Life Coach just got to, uh, get to get to really control how how the series played out, uh, and uh, quite interesting that some something uh, like the whole series got decided just because of like yeah, the, the first pick. Yeah, like a, a big deciding point in the series was like even before the first match even started. But hey, that's uh, that's the beauty of co conquest and uh, yeah. half stone Sometimes it's it's really big when you have like kind of like really. Um, uh, re really weird matchups like Warrior and Freeze Mage. I found are the ones that make the pick order really important for you. Absolutely. If you don't play those, it doesn't matter too much. But those two, it re you really need to z snipe things and dodge other things. Absolutely. Uh, really uh, interesting here is how, like the the war the Warrior decks in this tournament overall has just not been performing at all. I play. I talked to a lot of people about how Warrior has been performing this tournament, and it's. Yeah, it, it's been really bad for most players, and like almost every player I talked to really regretted bringing Warrior as their deck. But uh, and they, most of them did it because they expected a lot of Freeze Mage. Yeah, Warrior's just—it's always been weak, but it was—it's sort of like on an upswing right now. So a lot of people brought mm -hmm. it, and it didn't perform. Yeah, like it, it just wasn't meant to be. Like especially like with Druid getting such a huge buff of uh, Emperor, like yeah. it's uh, like it's really hard to always get like favorable matchups when you all. Always will have your warrior, the fear of running into the druid with yeah. it. People are, they're bringing it kind of as a rogue and mage counter. Oh. But a a exactly. Yeah. So uh, I guess that's it. Hmm? Okay, so yeah, uh, we're done. No more games today on the B stream, but there is still one more game on the main stream if you guys want to check that out. But we're done here for today. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a, Twitch.tv uh, slash take underscore HS. It take TV. Take TV underscore, underscore HS. Underscore HS. Just so go to Hearthstone. It's the top viewed one. Okay, <laughs> exactly. Quite, quite a lot of viewers. So thanks, everyone, that has tuned in today. And uh, be back tomorrow for more games. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, thanks.